Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a quick video about Turner Syndrome um, and how it affected me. Um, Turner Syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects females. Um, usually a female has two X chromosomes. In females with Turner's, um, one of these chromosomes is missing or abnormal. The effects and severity of Turner's may vary in each case. Um, each person is very different. Turner syndrome affects approximately 1 in uh, 2,500 female babies born. Just an interesting fact, it has been estimated by the medical profession that only 1% of fetuses with this abnormality survive to term. Um, so we truly are angels blessed from above. Um, as many as 10% of miscarriages have this abnormality. Um, I think it's important to tell you how this can be diagnosed um, so that if you have any suspicions, you can ask for these, um, these tests. The amniocentesis and cryonic villus, um, which can be done before birth. Um, clinical history, physical examination, psychological and educational assessment, um, blood test and chromosome analysis, and genetic tests. Um, these are all very important and what the doctor will use to diagnose Turner Syndrome. Um, some symptoms of Turner Syndrome include short stature, average is 4 foot 8, I got to 4 foot 7 um, with growth hormone injections. Um, when I finished stopping my growth hormone injections they told me that basically I'd grown on my own um, but who knows. They can't exactly be 110% sure. So um, the infertility, which is obvious due to undeveloped ovaries, um, which I must say has been the hardest part for me, but we'll get on to that a bit later. Um, congenital heart defects um, in as high as 50% of Turner syndrome cases. Um, I had a coarctation of the aorta. Um, which is an operation, I uh, had an operation when I was younger, when I was a baby, um, to fix this problem. They told me I wasn't going to live past the age of one if I didn't have this operation, but yet they didn't want to do the operation until I was one. Um, my dad made them do it, um, basically, so I'm here because my dad said, give my daughter her operation. Um, my spatial awareness, um, Spatial awareness is a problem um, with Turner syndromes. Um, problems with such tasks as math, um, which would explain why I'm so clumsy. Um, I can fall over my own two feet at the best of times. Um, I actually didn't find maths too bad. Um, as long as I learnt it on my own, um, reading the textbooks and doing the questions and answers myself. Um, sitting there doing it, reading it off a board didn't really work for me. So I asked the teachers to just give me papers to read um, and I would just do it by that. Yeah. Um, absence of menstruation, to be honest, who wants to? But anyway, that's just a joke I have. Um, hearing problems. These are caused from the development of the ear, not being able to drain the dirt and wax build up properly. It builds up um, as a builds up and causes the infection. Um, there is a great operation, and it's called a mastoidectomy, um, to help with the prevention of infection. Also, um, which I had, um, they basically made a hole in my ear for it to come out. They they took away the bone in the ear, and it's like a big hole, and it just drains out naturally now because um, it was doing nerve damage and I'm 80% deaf in my left ear, 20% in my right. Um, where else was I at? Um, also hearing aids of course are available but um, I found that they actually caused my ear to sweat and get itchy and irritated so they really didn't help me all that much um, but they are great. Um, Sunken wide chest with broadly spaced nipples. Well, yeah, we live with that. Um, doesn't feel so really good. It makes you feel disgusting. But hey, we have partners or we're going to get partners that love us for who we are. And that's all that matters. Um, extra skin webbing of the neck. I think I told you yesterday that I had that. 
Um, I have skin um, scars all the way down from my ear to the bottom of my shoulders. Um, it's a cosmetic procedure to correct, correct the, uh, to correct this. Um, but please do your research as I've done some research on this operation and it actually call, can cause nose and sinus problems, um, which I actually have. So it was just something that rung bells at me that that operation could have caused that. Um, puffy, puffy hands and feet. Mm -hmm. They always swell in the hot weather. Um, I don't have bad blood pressure, um, but it's just something that flares up all the time. Um, yeah, um, inability to straighten elbow joints. I sort of don't think I can. If you can see, it's not straight. I learned that yesterday. Yeah, just some information. I didn't know I couldn't straighten my arm. But, um, yeah, um, I've... Um, pigmented moles. I have freckles all over me, so it's really hard to tell if I have pigmented moles. Um, because both my parents are freckle freaks. <laughs> we got freckles everywhere. Um, because being in the Australian sun, it's pretty hard to stay away from. So, um, soft upturned nails. I also learnt this yesterday. I didn't know upturned nails. Um, my nails are fine, but hey. Um, low hairline. <laughs> Every day is a bad hair day. Um, as you can see, my hairline's really low. Comes down to like here, all the way around my neck. Um, I used to have an undercut where they cut it and made it look a bit better, but uh, I didn't like it anymore. But yeah, you get used to it. Yeah. Um, some complications of Turner syndrome. Congenital heart defect. Um, various structures of the heart may uh, may fail to develop normally um, in the utero. Um, yeah, well, that was my coarctation of the order. It was blocked, didn't develop properly. So, um, hearing problems due to infection causing degeneration of hearing nerves, which we sort of explained. Um, high blood pressure occurring more commonly in um, teenage to adult women. Um, with TS um, caused by the narrowing of the aorta. As I said, I had this operation when I was a baby, but others need to be really aware. Um, and I still constantly have mine checked, um, so that'll always help. Um, kidneys. An ultrasound may show some structural abnormalities in the kidneys, however, it doesn't generally affect how the kidneys work. Um, I've been complaining of kidney problems since I was about... 15. Nobody's been able to pick anything up. Um, low back problem, but I've always it's not my back, it's got to be my kidneys. But nobody seems to believe me. So, with the kidneys, you're sort of prone to um, urine infections and stuff like that. So, sort of a head and tail thing that happens. Um, thyroid function and diabetes. Hmm, that is an interesting one. Thyroid function, that might become with the weight gain that you can get with Turner syndromes if you're not careful. I have weight gain. I need to lose some weight massively. Um, and diabetes, haven't been diagnosed with diabetes, um, but I am getting scared of it. Um, there is a higher rate of type 2 diabetes um, and thyroid gland disorders. So. I'm actually, because I've been doing this video, I'm going to actually be getting onto my health. And I will do some videos about my health and make sure that I'm getting onto it. Um, my parents have been trying to get me to do this for such a long time. Um, but I was oh, she'll be right. It won't happen to me. But I think I actually really need to start taking care of myself. Um, Turner's is a lifelong condition. Um, however, many treatment options are available to help affected girls and women um, to reach their potential in all aspects of their life. Um, surgery to correct the heart defects, growth hormone therapy to increase height, hormone replacement therapy to trigger menstruation and development of secondary sexual characteristics such as breasts. Um, I doing more research into this, um, hormone replacement therapy 
can actually help with osteoporosis because of our bone density we have to be aware of it um, and our bone age and stuff like that that it can cause osteoporosis if we aren't careful um, so I'm going on to calcium tablets and I possibly may go back onto hormone replacement therapy very daunting for me I really didn't want to do it um, I haven't been on hormone replacement therapy for a long time um, just didn't feel right it just didn't feel good at all um, made me feel really sick um, so hopefully I can find something that might actually help yeah um, regular monitoring to check hormone levels um, I don't know about that yeah regular follow-up and management of medical conditions um, yeah well we always need to be followed up and, and and looked after by medical professionals but the thing is the hardest problem I've had is not being able to find a medical professional that knows what they're doing <laughs> because nobody knows about Turner syndrome so what do you do you basically have to do all your research and tell them you want to do this and you want to do that. They don't know. So, I don't know. Um, treatment for the management of complications such as high blood pressure will always get mine checked and I'm all G with that. Um, IVF assisted reproduction. Yes. We do need IVF or surrogacy or adoption. Um, I will talk to you a little bit more about this. I think I need to make a video on this. Um, it's an issue very close to my heart. I'm a childcare teacher by trade. Um, just completed my certificate for in youth work. Um, I've got my diploma in community services childcare. Um, love children. Um, Want to have children my own one day. Only one. Just one. I'm not fussy. Just one. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to do surrogacy. Um, we're just waiting for the uh, the rulings to come. Well, it's been made legal in Queensland, um, but we're, make, we're waiting for the fine touches of the ruling to come through. I think it's going to take another couple of years for it to actually happen. Um, but, yeah. All right, YouTube will... Hopefully this helped you and um, I look forward to talking to you again. Um, please subscribe and comment. Ask me any questions. Subscribe so that you can find out what I'm up to. Alright guys, have a great day. Take it easy and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.